Good day everyone, my name is Justin Carrana from Ten Arellano and today I'm gonna discuss to you all about the troubleshooting guides and techniques of a light dimmer. Before we get into the topic, what is a light dimmer? A light dimmer are devices connected to a light fixture and used to lower the brightness of light. By changing the voltage waveform applied to the lamp, it is possible to lower the intensity of the light output. Next up is troubleshooting guides of a light dimmer. Number one, conduct a quick diagnosis of the trouble symptom and repair the defective set in the shortest possible time. Do not troubleshoot a light dimmer unless you have determined the fault. Trace the fault from the electrical circuit section. Number two, when troubleshooting integrated circuits, IC for short, in the electrical or electronic circuit section, do not remove the IC from the PCB. Secure the circuit diagram from the manufacturer to help you identify the function of the IC. Consider the pin out of the IC. Number three, when troubleshooting in the electrical or electronic circuit section prior to pre-testing, consider the voltage measurement on the components first before removing it for testing. If the measured voltage is normal, the components might be the cause of the problem. Either way, if the measured voltage is not normal, increased or decreased, the preceding circuit or components might be the cause. Number four, if the trouble symptom is caused by aging components, the defective components is usually one of them. However, in high handling circuits, a defective component may cause other components to malfunction. Number five, be familiar with the usual defects of components. Example, cap capacitors usually become leaky, shorted, or open. Resistor increase the resistance when they become defective. Next, semiconductor as such as transistors usually open or shorted. Number six, don't replace an open fuse or burn resistor unless you have corrected the trouble. Number seven, always suspect a faulty contact on mechanical switch circuit rather than defective electronic components. Number eight, when measuring resistance in the circuit, make sure that the circuit is off and power is not being supplied in the circuit and that stored charges in capacitors are properly discharged. Failure to do so can damage the volt or milliameter or VOM for short and the circuit due to slow resistance of the ohmmeter. Number nine, while using a VOM for in circuit resistance measurement, always exchange the setting of positive and negative probes. Take the higher meter in reading the approximate resistance. Number 10. Use soldering irons in the proper power rating to prevent the components in the circuit board from being overheated and damaged. Soldering iron tips should be clean and preferably slim. Number 11. Use proper tools and soldering aids when troubleshooting PCB. Ground the soldering iron to avoid damaging the ICs and transistors. Number 12. Drive solder joints are hard to detect. However, when they are found or suspected, remove the components from the PCB, then file or clean the leads and solder the joints back. Reheating dry joints with a new soldering lead is another remedy. When resoldering, make sure do not overheat the components. Overheating the PCB may cause the copper layer on it to warp and peel off. Last but not the least, number 13, use personal protective equipment in short PPE.